and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So assuming that you're somewhat interested in art and well I guess so because you're on my channel watching my videos now so I think that it says quite a lot then you're probably familiar with the Prismacolor colored pencils. They are well known among the artistic community and people that are actually involved in art and do art probably have heard of them. And since you might know, I'm so in love with my Faber Castell Polychromos pencil that I have such a hard time to try new products, new colored pencils. But recently I was browsing through some online art shops and I came across Prismacolor pencils that looked super amazing and I totally fell in love with them. And I got actually so amazed by it. I love the color scheme of these pencils and I actually decided to buy it and give it a try. And this is the set that I'm talking about. It's a skin tone set, so uh, this is something that I use a lot in my drawings. So today we're gonna put to the test the allegedly best colored pencils on the market and we're gonna see if they're actually as good as everyone says. And now without any further ado, let's go ahead with the video and see what's up with those Prismacolor pencils. So here is the box of Prismacolor pencils once more and as you can see this box is uh, quite thick and it's made of metal I guess. And when you open it up you have this um, little leaflet showing probably yeah different products of Prismacolor. And here, here I guess it's some quick tutorial of how to do this uh, colored pencil portrait. But well, <laughs> we're not gonna follow this, I guess. And here you can also see swatches of all the colors that are included in the set. But I'm gonna make my own swatches because I never trust those ones that are uh, made by the companies. So I'm gonna do my own swatches and tests. All right, so here we have the actual pencils and uh, they come in those <clears throat> and they come in those plastic trays yeah this is how all the colors look and if you watched my previous video with art haul you probably know that i dropped those pencils so they are not in the right order the order they came in but they were still quite uh, messed up on the tray so I don't think it's that crucial. And also, as you can see, they, there are pretty many yellows, quite uh, plenty of browns, a lot of pinks, which I'm quite surprised with. And well, altogether it looks really nice. I love the color scheme and uh, I just want to swatch all these colors right away. So this is what we're gonna be doing now. And I already prepared a smooth Bristol kind of paper. So I'm gonna put those pencils aside and I'm gonna swatch them one by one. Alright, so here are all the swatches of all the colors in the set and my first thoughts are well, what is this color and where is black? I mean, I get that you can use this color for some shadows and to darken up your skin tones or so on, but I mean, black is a crucial color and I think black and white should be included in every color set, no matter if it's skin tone set or any other set, but like black is crucial, so come on. I don't like that. And well, also for just uh, first thoughts, uh, I mean, I don't like that there is so many yellows, but at the same time there is really little browns. And also there are quite many pinks, I would say, and those kind of really um, dark and uh, kind of grayish, uh, purplish colors. And um, I'm wondering why these are more important than browns. Maybe this is just my preference that I like to use a lot of browns of different tones, different undertones and I don't use pinks that often while coloring in the skin. But um, yeah, so far these colors are alright, but uh, yeah, just like I said, where, where is black? There are too many yellows, too many pinks and a little bit too little of browns. So these are my only concerns for now. But we'll see how those pencils are gonna perform on the paper and while coloring the skin because maybe 
those colors will be suited for coloring and shading in the skin. We'll see. And this is the picture that I'll be drawing today. When I saw it, I thought that it will be just perfect to test those pencils and uh, try as many skin tones as possible. So that's why we're gonna be drawing this today. Maybe I'll switch up a couple of things, I'll see, but I really love how much of highlights and shadow there are, so this is really important and this will allow me to test these pencils to maximum. So let's get it started. All right, so I started off with already made sketch from the reference that I showed you earlier, and then I went ahead and colored it in with the markers to have the base layer of colors for my further shading with Prismacolors. And I also didn't want to pay attention to the uh, first base coloring uh, layer because I wanted to leave room for the shading with the pencils, so that is why it's a little bit messy at the beginning, but everything is gonna be blended out and perfected when I'm gonna use the colored pencils, at least I hope so. So, well, um, I started off with coloring in her face and first thing I noticed right away that these Prismacolors are quite waxy pencils. They are really soft and the lead is almost buttery-like, so if you, if you like those kind of pencils, if you're a fan of this kind of texture on the paper, this is gonna be something for you. I really can admit that I enjoyed using these pencils and the comfort of the work, the comfort of them gliding the, on the paper effortlessly is really priceless. I loved using them and well, I'm gonna continue on using them just because of this uh, feature, let's say. They're really smooth, they blend effortlessly, the transition in between colors is just impeccable, they don't leave any marks on the paper, don't, they don't leave any of those kind of un undesired strokes. If you're gonna put enough layers of color and if you're gonna blend them all together, you won't see any texture and the drawing will look basically like it came out of the printer. It's just amazing how smooth and perfected everything looks with these pencils. But well, just because of their waxiness and their kind of buttery-like texture, they are sometimes not precise enough. If you work on a bigger size of paper, then there should be no problem. You can achieve those really uh, precise lines and uh, get with those pencils to even the tiniest spots of the drawings. But for me personally, I like to use smaller sizes of paper, A4, A5, or even smaller. And then when I want to shade in, for example, around the eyelid, I want to color in the eyebrow, then it becomes a little bit problematic because of their waxiness. I'm not able to get in those tiny places and I'm not able to get in those really little details of my drawings. So this is something that uh, here the Faber-Castell Polychromos wins on because they are more firm and, and therefore they are more precise and I can do more details with them. So here I need to say that probably for little details I'm still gonna use my Polychromos pencils. So this is the one little drawback that I can notice right away. But now I just want to tell you about this particular set of colors and this particular set of pencils. So, well, first of all, what I noticed while doing sketches, I think I'm not a fan of the color choice in general because I find that there is too many pinks uh, that I don't use because of their uh, really cool undertones that on the skin look a little bit deadly. So this is not what I'm really going for. If they wanted to put pinks, I would rather focus on warm uh, on the paints that are on the warmer side, not those cool tones ones. And also I find uh, that in this set there are also too many yellows. I would rather have way more browns, so way more um, way more different brown tones. Uh, I, when I was drawing I really liked this medium tone brown. There are a couple of dark browns and there are a couple of reddish browns but they don't have this kind of medium tan brown and this is something that I really lacked in my drawings but I needed to, you know, use some other pencils to achieve the uh, colors that I wanted but this is something that I really, really needed in this set. And also when it comes to the choice of colors, I think that 
this navy pencil is really pointless in this set. I mean, okay, like I said, maybe some people use it for shading, maybe it will give a cool effect. But for me personally, I find really annoying that there is no black in this set. I find black crucial for every set of pencils and uh, you're gonna always find the use of the black pencil even if it's gonna be for the outline, if it's gonna be for, you know, tiny details like eyelashes, you're always gonna find use for black. I mean, black is crucial. So this is a huge drawback for me about this set. But well, to be really honest with you, I really loved using these pencils and I'm gonna keep on using them. But if I were to buy this set again, I probably wouldn't. Uh, I think that it's more worthy to buy those pencils uh, one by one and pick the colors you really want and uh, pick the colors you're gonna use because here I probably won't have any use of those uh, pinks, cool tone pinks and some of yellow shades but uh, I, like I said I really like some of brown shades so yeah Prismacolors are amazing pencils and I'm definitely recommending them to you guys and well, just one thing, I'm not sponsored to do this video, this is just my own thoughts and I bought these pencils on my own, so well, just so you know, it's not sponsored. So I recommend Prismacolor pencils, but I don't recommend this particular set. So this is my opinion and uh, well, now it's up to you guys what you're gonna do with it. Uh, are, let me know if you're gonna check out those pencils, if you are interested in them or maybe you already have them. Let me know in the comments and now I'm gonna leave you to enjoy the rest of the coloring process. video and let me know what do you think about these pencils do you own any prismacolor pencils or are you not interested in uh, prismacolor products at all let me know in the comment section and now that will be all for today's video thank you guys so so much for watching like always and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be up to date with all my new future videos 
And also you can follow me on Instagram where I post a lot of good art related stuff so make sure you go and check it out also. And that would be all for today. Like I said, thank you guys so so much for watching again and I can't wait to see you in my next videos. Take care guys, bye bye! I'm just going with the gut, never had a doubt, felt like this is just a must Put me in perspective, I'm the deepest in the cut, everybody tuning in, but this is just for us now